Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I want to discuss how I leveraged the code generation capability of uh, Gen AI to generate a piece of logic that is quite complex that can solve some logical problems. Okay, so the motivation is partly coming from reading this paper. So easy problems that LLMs get wrong. One of the problems they talk about is, for example, you have two jugs, right? Jug A and Jug B. And Jug A, say, measures three liters and Jug B measures five liters. Your goal is to make four liters out of these two jugs. This would require a few you know, steps, you know, pouring water into Jug A, transfer to B and vice versa, along those lines, okay? It's easy to solve if you think through it, uh, maybe six steps or something like that, you can solve it. But uh, when you feed this problem to LLMs, right, they tend to get wrong. Uh, and I have done that for a scenario I will show you here. I said to LLM, I'm giving you uh, two jugs, 27 letter and 16 letter, and you need to get me two letters, okay? So this is the prompt I've given to LLMs, in this case, Cloud LLM. It generated a sequence of steps, you know, empty this, fill up this, and so forth. But it made mistakes when I start following the steps. It made some mistakes along the lines from 19 to 20. The solution is not correct. Okay, so I, as soon as I gave the feedback, it went ahead and corrected, and then it generated another solution, turned out to be long, and then when I skimmed through this, had some cycles and so forth, I'm not even sure the, the, the solution is correct. After some time, I gave up reading all these steps. Okay, so I wondered whether maybe LLMs can generate a program, and that program, when I run it, can solve the problem. It turned out that is not a bad idea. It was able to generate a portion of code in a special language that I asked it to do, in this case, Z3 uh, SMT syntax. It's a constrained language, domain-specific language. And all I have asked the, the tool to do is just generate me some Python code uh, in that particular uh, framework, uh, the Z3 framework, okay? So let me show you the prompts, right? It was not the ideal, but it's not bad at all. With a few prompts, um, I was playing with a few other model checkers, but let me focus on Z3 SMT. So it generated a some Python code here, right? I asked, can you generate Z3 Python? It generated it, okay. Uh, it was using some inefficient uh, constructs in the first version Then I gave further commands saying, okay, use list comprehension, avoid arrays and so forth. And then it generated me a fairly good uh, code. I ran it though, it didn't produce correct answer. I did not get a solution of how to make, say for example, two liters from 16 and 17, 16 and 27 liter jugs. So I gave that feedback and then it generated a new optimized code. And even that code had another problem like the loop sequence of steps, you know, it was going back to the old steps and so forth. And I gave that kind of feedback. And then in the end, I got a nice working um, piece of code. When I say piece of code, it's like 110 lines of code, which would have easily taken me um, at least one or two days to come up with that kind of good abstraction they followed in this problem and I will show you now. Okay, so with a very minimal prompting, I was able to synthesize this non-trivial portion of code that I would like to show you. So what you're seeing here is completely generated code from Cloud AI. Okay. Nicely named the method names, it created good commands overall, it identified the state variables, it was able to convert this problem into a state machine synthesis problem, right? Automatically it converted. And you can see here, it created state variables to keep track of jug A's different states, jug B's different state. And um, it identified what is the final state we need to be, you know, either jug A is having the target value or jug B has the target value. And then it added constraints that any moment jug A cannot have more than the capacity or below zero, it makes no sense to have negative liters. Similarly, the state machine logic uh, is synthesis completely. You know, what are the six possible actions? You, you can fill up A, fill up B, empty A and B, pour from A to B or pour from B to A. So if you count, there are six actions. So all of these actions are formally specified in this uh, syntax automatically, which would have taken several levels if uh, someone has to do it manually. 
the, for example, fill up jug A is one action, right? When you fill up jug A, what is the new state of jug A? The new state of jug A will be the I plus one state is same as the capacity of jug A. And the jug B doesn't get changed. So the new state is same as the older state for jug B. So essentially, your Gen AI synthesize the rules of the state transition systems, if you will. And in the, in the end, it, I just have to run this code and then I got the uh, necessary output and that turned out to be a correct output. I don't know whether the number of steps it took to solve the problem is correct, but I can see the output and see that that, that it makes sense. Okay. So let me very quickly summarize the solve what on jug, right? It takes how many steps should I try? What is the size of A, size of B, and then the target that you would like to have, like measure D liters using A liter and B liter jugs. And that's the goal, right? The D liter is the target. A liter is the jug A size, B liter is jug B size, and the number of steps. Okay. So let us run this thing first to get, idea, get the idea across, and then we will talk about uh, the, the details. So let me go into my Python prompt, right? From water jug optimal, from, and I'll use the same syntax as we have here in the, in the method call, right? So we need number of steps, jug size, and then the target, okay. So number of steps, let's assume, number of steps is five, five steps to solve. What is the jug A size? Can hold three liters, jug B can hold five liters, and the target is, say, four liters. See whether we can solve this in five steps. See whether it's possible or not. It's not possible. Let's increase the number of uh, steps by one, right, and see whether false again. Let's see. Yeah, here you go. So we started with both jugs being empty. We reached a state where one of the jugs, which is the jug B in this case, has four liters. That's the goal we, we, we asked if you remember print target. It will print four. That's exactly what we need. So it's able to synthesize code that generates this uh, sequence of steps one has to follow and uh, to get the solution. So that's amazing. Yeah. And uh, just going back to the original problem with jug A having more than, what was the size I have here? 16 liters and jug B, 27 liters. And the target is two liters. I've already solved this problem before this demo and the solution turned out to be only if you set the number of steps is equal to 31, you will get the solution, correct solution. Okay, I wrote a little for loop to guess the number of steps. I will show you that in a moment. But the point is the, the entire logic was generated automatically from LLM, although LLM at the first place didn't solve the problem when I gave 16 and 27 and asked it to produce two liters. Okay, we will see uh, when in 31 steps problem, how it may take one or two minutes to solve. Okay, so it was able to produce two liters in the end by following all these steps. If you were to able to come up with a solution less than 30 steps, please, please let me know. Okay, now let's going back to the code. Some really interesting things, right? First, very quickly, if you don't know how many steps, we can write a little for loop, right? And keep calling, call this solve what reject problem for different steps. That's the only thing that I manually did it here. I, I wrote a little for loop to do that. Otherwise, the code that was generated by LLM, it had only target some number and it didn't produce a result. So I kept on increasing the number of steps but I decided later to replace it by for loop. So that's the only thing, but this entire code, 110 lines of code is completely generated. It, it has all of these nice action names that you saw, and then all of the logic related to preventing cycle, uh, pre, uh, you know, avoiding immediate reversals, like you fill up water and then immediately empty it. You, you empty it and then go and fill it, <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, it, it created some extra constraints to avoid and then the rules for transferring, everything is auto automatically generated. Very minimal prompts from me. I did not go into all the details of prompting. I just uh, said, use SMT solver to generate code. Okay, so uh, I also have other versions that were generated earlier, right? And this one, it, it had some problems. Uh, I think it, uh, it did not consider many corner cases like loops. It was completely auto-generated in this case, right? You see here, solve water jug was the only thing. And it had hard-coded max step steps. It was solving specifically for 16 and 27 in the previous version. Anyway, 
this is only one data point, of course. We don't know whether um, complex code can be always generated, but it's giving me some hope that even if LLMs are not able to solve basic problems on their own, they are able to generate code. If we compile and run that code, then you, you're able to get a solution uh, with very minimal effort of prompting. Yeah, that's all. Thank you very much for your attention.